Welcome to this complete Death Valley National Park travel guide. Nestled in the heart of the Mojave Desert, Death Valley National Park stretches across two states, California and Nevada. It is a land of extremes, known for its blistering summer heat, and yet it's a captivating gem of nature's wonders. The park's landscape is a unique blend of salt flats, sand dunes, badlands, valleys, canyons and mountains. It's a place where the earth bears its bones, exposing layers of time etched into the rugged terrain. And the climate? It's as intriguing as the landscape. Death Valley holds the record for the highest recorded air temperature on Earth, a staggering 134 degrees Fahrenheit. But don't let the name or the heat scare you. Death Valley is brimming with life and beauty, offering a myriad of adventures for every kind of explorer. Now, let's dive into the top 10 things to do in this fascinating park. First on our list is the Badwater Basin. Now, this is no ordinary basin. Situated in the heart of Death Valley National Park, Badwater Basin is renowned as the lowest point in North America, sitting at a staggering 282 feet below sea level. But don't let the name fool you. There's nothing bad about this waterless wonder. The basin is home to a vast expanse of unique salt flats stretching as far as the eye can see. These salt flats are not only a testament to the basin's ancient aquatic history, but also an artist's dream, creating a surreal, otherworldly landscape. It's like stepping onto another planet right here on Earth. Just imagine the crunch of the salt underfoot as you traverse this white expanse, the sun casting long shadows as it dips below the horizon. It's truly a sight to behold. Remember to bring your camera for some amazing shots of this surreal landscape. Next, we have the Zabriskie Point, a jewel in the crown of Death Valley National Park. Zabriskie Point is a spot of exceptional beauty. Named after Christian Bravour Zabriskie, a prominent figure in the Pacific Coast Borax Company, the point offers a mesmerizing panorama of rippling hills and canyons, awash in a spectrum of earthy hues. It's a must-visit spot, especially at sunrise or sunset. As the day breaks or night descends, the sun paints a dramatic canvas of light and shadow over the undulating landscape, transforming it into an otherworldly spectacle. Each sunrise or sunset is unique, creating a new masterpiece each time. This isn't just a place, it's an experience, the serenity of the desert, the play of light on the rugged terrain, the silence broken only by the whispering wind. Zabriskie Point is a testament to nature's artistry. This is one of the best spots to catch a breathtaking sunrise or sunset in the park. Third on our list is Dante's View. A place so breathtakingly beautiful, it seems as though it was designed by a divine hand. Dante's view, named after Dante Alighieri, who penned the Divine Comedy, is an elevated viewpoint that offers a panoramic spectacle of Death Valley. Perched over a mile high, Dante's view is the perfect spot to soak in the stark beauty of the valley. From this vantage point, you can see the Badwater Basin, the lowest point in North America, and the Panamint Range, with Telescope Peak piercing the sky. The contrast between these highs and lows is a sight to behold. The drive up to Dante's view is a journey in itself. As you ascend, the landscape shifts from arid desert to a more mountainous terrain. It's a bit of a trek, but the reward at the top is worth every moment. Don't forget to bring your camera because the view from here is simply out of this world. Next up, we have the artist's palette and mesquite flat sand dunes. The artist's palette, a true spectacle of nature, is a vibrant display of mineral-rich rocks that have been painted over time by the elements. The stunning array of colors, from soft pinks and purples to bold blues and greens, is a sight to behold and a photographer's dream. Now let's shift our gaze to the mesquite flat sand dunes. These undulating hills of sand are as mesmerizing as they are vast. They are a testament to the desert's enduring beauty sculpted by the wind into a sea of golden waves. The play of light and shadow on the dunes at sunrise and sunset creates a breathtaking tableau, making this another coveted spot for photography enthusiasts. So whether you're a seasoned photographer or simply love capturing beautiful moments, both of these spots offer unique photo opportunities that you won't find anywhere else. Moving on, we have the Furnace Creek Visitor Center and Golden Canyon. The Furnace Creek Visitor Center serves as a gateway into the heart of Death Valley National Park. Here you'll find fascinating exhibits detailing the park's rich history, diverse ecology and intricate geology. Not to mention the center also offers invaluable insights into the best ways to explore the park. 
Now, let's turn our attention to the Golden Canyon, a labyrinth of golden-hued cliffs and ravines. This natural wonder offers some of the park's most scenic hikes. The trails are a delightful mix of easy strolls and more challenging treks, each promising a unique perspective of the park's mesmerizing landscape. But remember, it's not just about the destination, it's about the journey. And what a journey it is through the Golden Canyon. These are great spots to learn about the park's history and geology. Next, we have the Devil's Golf Course and Telescope Peak Trail. A name like the Devil's Golf Course might make you chuckle, but it's no laughing matter. This expansive salt pan gets its devilish moniker from the jagged salt formations that cover its surface. Just imagine a golf course designed by Lucifer himself, where the terrain is a surreal and endlessly captivating landscape of crystalline salt. Now let's shift our gaze skyward to the Telescope Peak Trail. Named for the panoramic views it offers, this trail is not for the faint-hearted. Rising over 11,000 feet, it's a challenging but rewarding hike. As you ascend, you'll encounter diverse landscapes from desert scrub to alpine forests. Reaching the summit, you're greeted with a sight that can only be described as heavenly. So, if you're someone who enjoys a bit of a challenge, the Devil's Golf Course and Telescope Peak Trail are just the ticket. These spots offer a bit of adventure for those looking for a challenge. Last but not least, we have the Ubahibi Crater. A testament to the park's volcanic history, Ubahibe Crater is a site that's sure to leave you awestruck. Formed through a massive explosion around 2,000 years ago, this half-mile wide crater is a stark reminder of the Earth's explosive temperament. The explosion was caused by the meeting of magma and groundwater, resulting in a steam eruption that blasted out this giant hole in the landscape. It's worth a visit for the sheer spectacle of its size and the stark contrast it offers to the surrounding desert. The crater's rim offers a panoramic view of the desolate yet beautiful landscape of Death Valley. As you stand on the edge, you'll feel like you're on the brink of another world. And if you're up for it, Hiking down into the crater gives you a unique perspective that's not to be missed. This is a great spot to end your exploration of Death Valley National Park. So there you have it, the top 10 things to do in Death Valley National Park. This place truly is an outdoor enthusiast's paradise, brimming with natural wonders and unique landscapes that are sure to take your breath away. We started our journey at the Badwater Basin, the lowest point in North America. Here, the salt flats stretch out like a surreal white canvas, creating a stark contrast against the rugged mountain backdrop. It's a sight to behold, and a powerful reminder of the forces that shape our planet. Next, we headed to Zabriskie Point, famed for its mesmerizing moonlike terrain. The panoramic views here are truly something to write home about, especially at sunrise when the landscape is bathed in a soft, ethereal glow. Our journey continued to Dante's view, offering an unparalleled perspective of the park. Here you can feast your eyes on the vast expanse of Death Valley and its myriad of colors and textures, a sight that's sure to make you feel on top of the world. We then ventured to Artist's Palette and Mesquite Flat Sand Dunes, where the landscape morphs into a kaleidoscope of colors and towering sand dunes, reminiscent of a scene from an epic desert adventure. The Furnace Creek Visitor Center and Golden Canyon were next. The Visitor Center is a wealth of information and the canyon a geological wonder that's perfect for hiking and exploration. We also visited the Devil's Golf Course and hiked the Telescope Peak Trail. Both offer unique experiences, with the former showcasing a jagged salt pan landscape and the latter a challenging hike that rewards you with stunning views. Finally, we ended our journey at the Ubahibi Crater, a testament to the park's volcanic history. The sight of this massive crater is a humbling experience, a reminder of the immense power that lies beneath the Earth's surface. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Death Valley National Park. We hope you found this guide useful and it inspires you to plan a trip to this unique destination.